My style is definitely very rebellious. I encourage people a lot to break rules or don't follow trends. It's always bold. There's a lot of contrast, there's a lot of graphic kind of patterns and shapes. I'm an interior stylist and I write an interior design blog. I'm someone who likes to go out and get like lots of inspiration from different places and bring in things that are happening in culture or music or art at the time. Your environment's really important to how productive you can be. It also does a lot to influence just who you are as a person and your kind of like output, especially as a creative. Living in Croydon is really interesting because we're kind of considered to be on the outskirts of London. I think it gives you a real drive to like fight that little bit harder to kind of be taken seriously. It's really interesting to see Croydon kind of changing a little bit. There's a lot of talk of it being the new like up and coming areas to work in and I think we are slowly starting to see that. I always knew I wanted to work for myself and be an entrepreneur so I just decided to go for it. It's all about finding your own voice and your own original thoughts, going against the grain a little bit. I'm quite honest about stuff, nothing's ever perfect, and I talk in this really no BS manner. I had to do this Christmas tree for a big glossy beauty brand, and instead of just going the traditional route, I made them this completely neon Christmas tree that was not really like anything they'd ever done before, but luckily they ended up loving it. We should just all be honest, and you know, if that means that I just get out a piece of paper and draw a little picture and there's a bit of pink highlighter that shows where the strips of neon are gonna go, then that's fine. I don't define myself by any means as being a mother. I want people to respect me as an entrepreneur and as someone who's great at design. And then if they're like, oh, and she's a mum, then that's an extra string to the bow. My daughter is four. I do try and incorporate her and my husband into the process because I think it's really good for her especially to understand what I do and see from a young age that I'm a working woman. I think the most important thing is just to follow your own passion or your own gut feeling on something. It's possible for anyone to do it. I lost my job when I think Marley was about six months old, but I just knew that if I took a chance, it could all really pay off. You shouldn't let anything stop you.